So, I've had a rough couple of past days, and so I'm going to treat myself to something that I actually am going to enjoy. Something that I can eat for once, but not just me, other people too. And what I'm, we're going to be making is ice cream. And what I'm going to be doing for the base here, you can pretty much use it for any ice cream that you want. Um, I'm going to be making chocolate chocolate chip ice cream. And I'm gonna, it's, it's going to be hardcore, it's going to be really good. Um, but um, if you want to make vanilla, I'll tell you basically when to stop or what to do. If you want to make coconut or whatever, it doesn't make a difference because the base is almost always the same. So let's go ahead and get started on this. That's three quarters of a cup of just regular old sugar. One cup. This is heavy whipping cream. And we've almost got two cups in this. I'm also trying to empty out my fridge. So we got our two cups, roughly. And now we're going to end up throwing in some milk. And this is whole milk, meaning that it came out of a hole. Um, and I'm just going to be doing one. Now, if you want to use 2%, <clears throat> I wouldn't recommend it. Um, you can do it. If you want to use half and half, I wouldn't recommend it, but you can do it. Because you need fat. In ice cream, you need fat, man. You need fat. So, what we're going to do is we're going to turn this on. And we're going to turn this to about medium low. And what we want to do is we want to dissolve the sugar. We want to get this to almost scalding. We want to get this hot, but we don't want this to, to start boiling or anything like that. And then as soon as it starts getting to that scalding stage is when we're going to start putting our egg yolks in. And we're going to need six egg yolks. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and crack these eggs open. One side is going to be for egg white and one side is going to be for egg yolk. And we want to get the majority of the white out. Having a little bit of white on there is going to be okay. And then this, this white down there, you save for an omelet. Save for meringue. My dog likes eggs, so I'll probably just end up uh, giving this to my dog um, when we have our breakfast. That way she has hers. Nothing goes to waste. This goes into the fridge with saran wrap on top of it. And my dog gets this tomorrow. So now we're just going to go ahead and mix these egg yolks up. And I'm going to be doing something here in a second you think, you're going to think it's a little strange. But it's going to help the chocolate stand out. I'm putting just a little bit of salt in here, not a lot. That's kosher salt. I'm not putting a lot, maybe a quarter of a teaspoon. Now to make this chocolate stand out, I'm going to be putting a couple of things of cayenne pepper in there. You might say, geez, well that's kind of strange. Not really. Aztecs have been doing it for years. Um, if you've never tried it, you'd be amazed on how a little bit of capsaicin can really bring out that chocolate flavor. You, you won't taste the burn. You won't feel it or nothing. So now that this is mixed up, we're going to wait until this becomes scalding. And then as soon as it becomes uh, scalding, then that's when we're going to add some hot milk to this. We're not going to add this to the hot milk. We're going to add hot milk to this. We're going to stir it up, and then we're going to pour this into the hot milk. Now, what you would do if you're going to make like a French vanilla, like you're going to make a good vanilla ice cream, um, you would use vanilla bean, not vanilla extract. Now, you can use vanilla extract, okay? But um, make sure that it's something that actually is like real vanilla, not artificial, because that artificial will just stand way out, okay? But basically, you would take a vanilla bean, slice it right down the center of the pod, scrape out the inside of the seeds, throw it all inside here, and let it just kind of uh, simmer inside here, like let it come to temperature. As soon as it kind of gets to the point of scalding, whatever, everything stays the same. You're only doing it with a vanilla bean that's been cut in half and scraped out inside there. Okay. If you want to maybe add a little coconut milk to this in substitution for like maybe one of the cups of cream, you can do it. But make sure it's fat. You need something that's got fat in it. You don't want to just put like coconut water. That's no good. Um, you need something that's got fat. Also maybe put a, a little bit of uh, maybe like a half of a teaspoon or something of coconut extract inside there if you wanted to kind of go coconut. And then right now is the time that you would taste this. Okay? And it should taste like melted ice cream. Right? Right now this is bland because there's nothing in it except the cream and whatnot because I'm not putting any vanilla in it. But this is the time that we would go ahead and we, we would test it. Now what I'm going to do here 
because it's, it's starting to warm up a little bit, I'm going to end up using regular Hershey's baking cocoa. Okay, this is unsweetened. And I'm going to be putting about a half a cup in to start, and I'm going to taste it. And then from there, if it's not enough, I'm going to put about another quarter of a cup inside here. Mix it all up, and then taste it. If I need to add sugar, I'll add sugar. But this is definitely the time that you want to start tasting things. I usually do the dry ingredients first and then the wet so we don't have stuff stick to the sides, but oh well. We'll live. And with cocoa powder and stuff like that, there's still fat in this, in the cocoa powder. And it will dissolve. So we just got to give this a little bit of time. If you want to use a wire whisk, you can. But eventually all of this stuff is going to end up dissolving. And whatever doesn't dissolve, not a big deal because we're going to be running this through a sieve a little bit later to get out any uh, small particles of egg that might have scrambled. It's not necessary, but it, it makes for a nicer um, ice cream. So we've got that inside here. Smells like hot chocolate which is exactly what you'd expect. Now we're going to taste this. That's pretty damn chocolatey right there. I'm going to call that good because that's pretty damn chocolatey. All right, so this is hot, as you can tell. It's, it's steaming. It's kind of getting a little bit of bubbles. This is about the stage that we want it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pour some of this inside the egg yolks. And during this time, we're stirring it. That's probably enough right there. Okay, now what we're doing right here is we're tempering the eggs. This is what's called tempering the eggs. And it just tries, it just prevents it from kind of making scrambled eggs. Because if you pour the eggs into the hot uh, mixture, a lot of times you'll get kind of scrambled eggs. So now we're going to take this and we're going to pour it back into the chocolate mixture. Now after doing that, you'll notice that the mixture has become significantly thicker. And that's kind of what we're using the eggs for. There's some people that will actually use cornstarch or flour or carrageenan or something along those lines in order to kind of thicken this up because ultimately we're making a custard. And what I'm doing here now is the fire is off. I'm just kind of letting that set up. It's kind of stirring a little bit. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to run it through a strainer into the container that we're going to make our ice cream in. You need, you need an ice cream maker, guys. You can't really do this any other way. And now I'm going to pour my chocolate mixture through this strainer. Let me get my fork and just kind of start working this stuff down. Now, if it's creamy when it's hot, you know it's going to be creamy when it's cold. See, but this right here is going to be taking out those chunks of chocolate as well as any chunks of egg that kind of cooked a little bit too much. And I'm going to continue doing this until all of my mixture is in my container. And because this is thick, it's going to take a little while, right? It's going to take a little work. Um, if you add another cup of cream to it or another cup of milk, obviously it'll thin it out. It won't be as creamy, but it'll thin it out. And you won't be dealing with as you won't have to deal with what I'm doing here as much. Okay. And I think I only need to do it one more time anyway. So as soon as I'm done with this, then we'll go to the next step. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and take our mixture here and set it in the ice cream maker. Look at how nice and creamy that is. That is super awesome, guys. So we're gonna have to go ahead and uh, Put this thing together. You keep that thing open to allow air inside here because it's going to be cooling, stirring, and putting air in, which will make it even creamier. And my dog has got a bottle and it's going to drive me crazy. Now, some people will refrigerate this before they put it in here. I don't see the point. Um, I don't have to add ice or anything to my ice cream maker. This one just automatically does it, refrigerates. Um, I spent a small fortune on it years ago. But I gotta tell you, if you like ice cream and stuff like that, and you wanna make your own, this is the way to go. But you can get one where you end up putting some rock salt in there and it just looks like an old bucket and stuff. And that'll work too, you know, it'll work. Um, but anyway, here we go. 
I've got this turned on. I got it set for about 60 minutes. And this is going to increase in size because of the air that's going to be put inside here. And um, I might even have to go about another 20 minutes outside of this 60 minutes. So as soon as um, we get to a certain point, um, I'll turn the camera back on. But I'll know that this is done. Um, it'll be soft serve, okay? But I'll know because this paddle will actually start bogging down. It'll not really want to turn. So let's just go ahead and let this thing turn for a while. And then uh, when it gets close to that soft serve, serve stage is when I'm going to start putting in my uh, chocolate chips. All right, so let's, let's, get, let's, let's get her done. Look at all that silky goodness. Let's put some chocolate chips in there before the thing starts bogging down. Uh, it's starting to bog down. I might have waited too long. All right, well that thing's bogging down, so uh, there's nothing I'm gonna be able to do. I'm just gonna have to mix this by hand. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this out. Let me, I'm just gonna be using a Tupperware thing here. And um, hopefully I can get this bastard out. Sometimes they get frozen in there. Okay, what's left in there is what I'm gonna use for my taste testing. But let's try to get a bunch of this stuff outside of the, the paddle here. I'm trying to get some of these chocolate chips inside here mixed a little bit before I throw this in the freezer. Okay, I hate wasting ice cream, but anyway, this is what I'm going to taste, so I'll let you know if this tastes worth the damn. That's fucking superior! Holy shit! Alright! I ain't even fucking around. That's some of the best goddamn chocolate ice cream I ever had. And I'm not saying that because I'm in diabetic shock right now. And I'm not saying it because I just got out of a concentration camp and the only thing I've been able to eat was grass that was covered in shit and now I have dysentery. That's some really good fucking chocolate ice cream. Good God, that's good. You know something I gotta tell you right now? And then I, when I, I should say it like a southerner. I'm gonna tell you right now. If you like ice cream, you gotta make this. Because if you don't, then you are a sinner. You're a loser. I don't want you in my life. This is this is brown crack, fools. Good lord, that's good. That is so good. Oh my god. I don't even know how to explain how good that is other than just the way I'm doing it. Anyway, guys, good god, that's good. And it's super creamy. It's got such a strong chocolate flavor. And you, and you saw I barely added anything. You know that there ain't no weird ingredients. Hagen dazs can kiss my ass. Because I own this shit. Anyway, dudes, that's how you make some superior chocolate ice cream. God damn, that's good. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to tell you right now. Okay? Wow. Man, that's good. <clears throat> All right, guys. I'm going to jump off. I can hardly wait for that stuff to set up in the freezer. You're going to have to give it at least 30 to minutes to an hour, two hours, something along those lines to, to get it fully set up. If not, it's going to melt pretty quick. Okay? Because this is real ice cream. This ain't that fake shit. You know, you're getting them five-gallon drums and shit. No, nah, not for $2.95. No, nah, this is the real shit. Man, that's good. Oh, my God. Uh, that's going to make me... I'm already happy. I was having a bad day, but now I'm really happy. So, <clears throat> anyway, guys, till next time, I will catch you later.